This is a setup demonstration for the Aspire Cleto Pro tank. In addition to the tank with one coil pre-installed, inside the box you'll find a warranty card from Aspire, an instruction manual featuring picture displays, a spare set of replacement seals for every part of the tank, an extra replacement glass that holds four milliliters of liquid versus the straight glass that comes pre-installed, which holds three milliliters, and an extra coil that will be a little different than the one that comes pre-installed. The pre-installed coil is going to be a mesh style coil, and the backup is a 0.5 ohm standard wire coil. Let's take a look at the tank itself. To open the tank to access the coil for priming, you'll want to grasp the sections of the tank above and below the glass area and twist and turn to unscrew. From here, be forewarned when you replace your coil that when you remove the coil, if you have any liquid remaining in the tank, it will leak down into the airflow base and out the airflow holes. So make sure that if you want to preserve your liquid, you have a container that you can pour it into or that you vape your tank dry. To remove the glass the rest of the way, you simply grasp the glass and the airflow base, twist and pull. To put it back in place, simply press it down into place. To prime your coil, you have a couple of options. You can take your liquid and manually apply liquid to the exposed cotton wicking ports on the sides of the coil. This particular coil has been gently used already, but the one in your brand new tank will have bright, wide, dry, bright white dry cotton. Or alternatively, you can simply install your coil dry, fill your tank, and let it sit and saturate for five to 10 minutes. You want to make sure that your wicking material is fully saturated before heating the coil for the first time. That's because heat plus dry cotton equals burnt flavor, and generally that's an indicator that it's time to change your coil, so you really don't want it to taste like that right out of the box. Then to close your tank back up, once you've got your coil screwed into place, you'll take the top cap and mouthpiece section, drop it down in, the portion that's actually going to thread onto your tank is the mouthpiece section, so you'll want to turn from there. Be careful not to cross thread. The mouthpiece is a high heat resistant Delrin plastic, so it can be damaged if you cross thread. Also, you'll want to make sure that you're only tightening it down finger tight, again, so you don't damage the threads. To fill your tank, you'll take a look at the top cap section and on one side, just above the glass, you'll notice a series of three small dots. That's your indicator for where the fill port is underneath this ring here. So to access the fill port, we'll grasp this ring that's just above those three dots and tug. It has a very robust seal inside to prevent leaking, for which there is a replacement along with the other seals in the tank. And then to fill, You'll hold your tank at about 45 degree angle, insert your nozzle on your bottle, and squeeze to fill. Then simply press back down that ring and secure it. You also have, on the bottom of your tank, an airflow adjustment ring. There are three identical holes at even intervals around the side of the tank, and as you turn this airflow ring, you'll notice that those holes get slightly more restricted and open slightly back up. You can find the area that works best for your preferences, although you'll want to make sure that you have at least some airflow open, otherwise you won't be able to get vapor through the tank. And that's about all you need to know about setting up the Cleto Pro tank from Aspire. Happy vaping!